We have certainly seen lots of comparisons recently. Uh, European telcos and Big Tech have, have commissioned studies that, that highlight their investment. And I would say I have read some of these studies and first, first and foremost, they reflect the structure of the internet ecosystem where everybody pays for their own internet access. So telcos have the task of building an access network that allows their end users, consumers, and businesses to access the internet. So the investment for that task is highlighted in reports put out by telcos, whether we talk about uh, cable-based uh, networks, fixed networks, or mobile access. Our big tech or sort of online content providers more generally, or providers of content delivery networks, um, have the task of building data centers with servers that can deliver the content requested by end users. And in between these access, the, the access networks uh, of the telcos and the data centers, we have interconnection, which used to be dominated by background providers of internet transit. These background providers have increasingly been taken over by the, uh, the content delivery networks themselves um, of the large online services. Uh, because they exchange traffic directly with the ISPs, often delivering the traffic to the doorstep of the ISP, the so-called on-net CDNs. So all of this requires investment at different levels, and that is reflected in the various reports showing the, the current division of labor in the internet ecosystem. Telcos have their access networks, um, which is a different task than online services, whether they are big and small. And yes, we can certainly comparing the investments in billions of euros if we want to. But the question is, does this provide anything meaningful? Um, I don't think so.